have some Twizzlers and, and pretzel sticks. That's actually a good symbol, I guess, of the culture at Berkman, right? Like the, the, the pretzel jar that everybody can get a bite out of. Good morning. <laughs> when you know, people ask, what, what is the Berkman Center? All it is is a community of people. It's a human network of scholars and students and activists who are interested in the future of the Internet. The most remarkable set of Internet scholars and, uh, and scholars with passion uh, in the world. Is this free, though? Did Harry come, Rob come? Um, I'll check for Today in a lovely uh, yellow building on the second floor of 23 Everett Street. It's very intimate. Uh, and cozy. It's um, always too small in physical space, but capacious in virtual sense. A typical day. A typical day at the Berkman typical Center. Typical day at the Berkman Center. Lots um, of people energetically coming through the A lot of people the in and out. Into the conference room. often find yourself sucked into like really interesting conversations with people. Yeah, I think it's also um, some moments of quiet and contemplation. Not one day is like any other. Today is Tuesday, which means we don't get much done um, by way of traditional work. <laughs> we don't. There's too much going on. There are too many people. There are too many events. There's lots of sandwiches. Today at the Berkman Center, we are having the falafels. So t- our Tuesday lunch series is sort of one of the, it's a kind of a flagship element of the Berkman Center. And it's very much reflects our character and values in some respects, and it really is about community. Um, Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the Berkman Center Tuesday Luncheon Series. It's Um, not just informal, it's also very rigorous, and the idea is that you're going to be in there with some of the smartest folks around in this space, and they're really going to push you and challenge you and hopefully help. My goal for being here is to get ideas about how the heck we begin to make the system work a little bit better. So a lot of collaborations arise at uh, uh, Tuesday Talks. The internet will change the healthcare system. <laughs> Thank you so much. Hey, how's it going? Can I um, prevail on you to say? Oh, the library. Do you uh, reserve that? Excellent. Okay, bye. Uh, Send out the filter in the way. What is the Berkman Center? What does the Berkman Center do? Cell phone and iPod, cell phone. That's pretty much what I read all day. We focus our research in three broad areas. Now, these three aren't mutually exclusive, and in fact, they're hugely overlapping, and that's the whole point. Law, technology, innovation, and knowledge. To help people understand their uh, legal rights in online expression. Sometimes people say, why did you come up with this crazy term, badware? (laughs) What's wrong with malware? What's wrong with spyware? The relationship between internet and civic activity. Governments are not transparent about what they filter, which then gives us the role of going and finding out exactly what they do and reporting that. Sort of the, what are the mechanisms that promote cooperation in online spaces? And technology, law, and development. We're trying to create a, a commons where law professors can share their, their educational materials with each other. So we talk to kids about a range of issues, kind of how they're using different technologies, how they're understanding. That's what the clinical program is all about, is life. letting students do this real work for real clients, but in a very structured setting. Students are part of everything we do at the Berkman Center. We simply wouldn't want to do what we uh, do without them, and we probably sure, couldn't either. Come by. And since everything with Berkman is like incredibly connected to one another, one project led to another. And this is a fun and wacky place, but also a place that does, I think, the most serious and important scholarship in our field. So it's a combination of a very high spirit, but also a very high commitment to the best understanding and the best analysis of the Internet's impact on society, whether that's about the law or business or public policy or computing uh, or divinity, for that matter. I think if any element of the Berkman Center sets it apart more than anything else, it's the nature of the fellows who come into the Berkman Center. On the data collection side, it would mean having to use some sort of an identifier to... best practices, we would want to err on the side of telling people too much about what's happening and... Uh, it seems to me like the first sure order concern is how do you get more people to use it and then worry about how, why are they not going to use it rather than vice versa. I just wanted to bring in sort of a thread that's going on in the IRC at the moment. That in real time would actually... The map of the world with here is the distribution of food uses so which speed hard drives. I mean, because that's a, a very central question to Yohai's research and to my research. Thanks so much, all. Okay, then. It's declared officially over.
Well, I'm, I'm here in the Geek Cave, uh, which is actually a, a total misnomer. This is the probably the sunniest, most airy room in the in the entire place. Well, you know what? We've 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 realized that actually geekness puts up a defensive shield around this room. That you only come here when you have a problem. And if you're in here, you you always have a problem. Yeah, I, I can see uh, like grass and trees. There's a squirrel that lives right here in front of me, and I don't actually communicate with it, but it it does jump up and down and and do things. There's just always stuff going on. We want to we want to push conversations forward, and we want to have like interesting dialogue, and we want to have, you know, we want to hear about the the tools or the 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 research that's really changing the field. Okay, so we're here at the Ames courtroom in uh, um, at Harvard Law School, where at any moment Professor Lessig will make his appearance. Elvis will be in the building and will be ready to proceed. It is uh, with great pleasure that we welcome Lawrence Lessig back to the Berkman Center and to Harvard Law School. Um, Professor Lessig, thank you for coming home. I mean, not law as some kind of silver bullet, but law as at least one tool, a comparable tool, that might, you know, on the margin, improve the success of any particular solution by one or two percent. Right? To take this impossible problem and make it just one or two percent better in conjunction with these other technologies. It's a very organic kind of growth that comes from below and within, and it's extremely entrepreneurial, and, and new ideas spring up and grow out and sometimes get spun off. This bottom-up orientation to the center has come from the top down. It's the leadership that has inspired and allowed the, the, the grassroots to take hold here. While we have lots of different types of folks in our community, we are uh, tied by certain commonalities. And one of them is that we want whatever we do to be relevant in the world. See ya. I love that the place has gotten bigger and more ambitious. Ultimately, though, we haven't lost the spirit of what Miles Berkman, our founding benefactor, called smart people in a hallway, where people can come and talk and hang out and think seriously about the issues of internet as they affect society.